Hello everyone. In today's video, let's learn how to find out missing frequencies when the median of the data is already given to us. So friends, here is the group data. This is the class interval column and here is the frequency column. Now the median is already given as 32.5. The total number of observations is given as 40. And friends, we have to find out these missing frequencies F1 and F2. Now because the median value is given, we will find out F1 and F2 using the median formula which is nothing but L plus N by 2 minus CF divided by F into H. Now to find out all these values we need to create a new column called the CF column or the cumulative frequency column. Now cumulative frequency is nothing but added frequency. So for the first class interval the CF value will be the same as the frequency value because there's nothing before that has to be added. So CF value will be F1. Now to find the CF of the next class interval you simply add the CF of the previous class interval. So this is my previous class interval and its CF value is F1. So you simply add F1 to the frequency of the present class interval which is nothing but 5. So F1 plus 5. Now because F1 is a variable and 5 is a constant you just have to leave it like this friends. So it will be F1 plus 5. I hope you understood this friends. Now you need to simply repeat this process for all the class interval. So let's do that. So here for the next class interval, I'll get the CF value as F1 plus 5 plus 9. So 5 plus 9 you can definitely add because they both are constants. So we'll get F1 plus 14. Now for the next class interval, we'll get F1 plus 14 plus 12 is 26. Now here we get F1 plus 26 plus F2 friends because F1 and F2 are two different variables we really cannot add them further we just have to keep it as it is. Let's again continue so here we'll get F1 plus F2 plus 29 and again when we add we'll get F1 plus F2 plus 31 and that is how we get all the CF entries. Now the last CF value always gives us the total number of observations but it is already given to us that 40 is the total number of observations. So can we say that F1 plus F2 plus 31 is equal to 40? Definitely because they both give you the total number of observations. So let's write F1 plus F2 plus 31 is equal to 40. Now you can always bring 31 to the other side. So let's do that. We'll get F1 plus F2 equal to 9. Friends, let's call this as equation number 1 because we will definitely need it later. Now let's come back to the median value. Median is 32.5. Now in which class interval will 32.5 lie? Yes, it will lie in this class interval 30 to 40 because 32.5 comes between 30 to 40. So this is our median class friends. Let's highlight it. So finding the median class is very easy if you already know the median value. So this is our median class. Now that we know what is the median class, we can easily find out all these values. So L is nothing but the lower limit of the median class. So this is my median class, lower limit is 30. So let's write 30. N is the number of observation. Now that's already given as 40. CF is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class. Now preceding means coming before. So this is my median class. The class that comes before the median class is this one friends. And what is the CF value? F1 plus 14. So remember not to confuse it with the CF of the median class. Now the next is F. F is nothing but frequency of the median class. So this is my median class. Its frequency value is 12. So remember friends the CF value you have to take for the class that comes before the median class and F value you have to take for the median class. Okay. Now H is nothing but the class size. Now that's very simple. Take any class interval say 40 to 50 just subtract the upper limit and the lower limit. So 50 minus 40 you'll get it as 10. That's it friends. We have got all the values. Let's substitute it in the formula for median. So median which is nothing but 32.5 is equal to. Now what is L value? We just found it as 30 plus 
n let's put the bracket also n is nothing but 40 by 2 minus cf cf is nothing but f1 plus 14 friends so because it's not a number you have to write it in brackets if you don't write the brackets your calculations will be all wrong friends so remember to put the brackets everywhere divided by f now f value is 12 and then multiplied by h which is nothing but 10 now let's continue now because this 30 is separate from this entire term i can surely bring it to the other side so here i'll get 32.5 minus 30 equals to let me keep the bracket 40 by 2 is 20 now let me open up this bracket friends. so i'll get minus f1 minus 14 and let me put the bracket here divided by 12 into 10 now this is nothing but 2.5 equal to now 20 minus 14 is nothing but 6 minus f1 keep the bracket as it is divided by 12 now we can always bring the 12 to the other side friends let's do that 2.5 into 12 equal to now let's open up the brackets so i'll get 60 minus 10 f1 now 2.5 into 12 is nothing but 30 which is equal to 60 minus 10 f1. Now let's little bit shift the terms here and there. So I'll get 10 f1 to the other side and I'll bring 30 to this side friends. So I'll get 60 minus 30. So 10 f1 is equal to 30 which means f1 is equal to 3. So here we have easily got the first missing frequency value f1 as 3. Now to find the other frequency value you simply have to substitute this f1 value in this equation number one friends so what does it say f1 plus f2 is equal to 9 f1 is already 3 we just found it out so 3 plus f2 is equal to 9 that means f2 is equal to 6 so that's it friends we got the values of f1 and f2 very easily using the median formula so if you found the video useful do like and share it consider subscribing to enjoy math and please leave your comments in the comment section below so till we meet again take care